All right, everybody. It's me, Chuck. I'm back again. It's been a long while since I've been on. Just wanted to give an update that at some point this week, um, maybe in the next coming days, I will be recording and at least be start recording a Let's Play series on this game. It's uh, been one of my favorite games for a long time, and I've always felt that it would be a good time to really uh, show people how to do this game. So, just, you know, that's something to look forward to in the coming days. I don't want you guys to feel like this is the, the Let's Play. No, but this is something that uh, I've been wanting to do for a few years, just haven't had the time. So, otherwise, in the meantime, I'll show you how far along I've come with this new character. Um, or not new character, my old character. It's been a while since the last time I showed you. Uh, I was looking to level up my character so that I can finally get in my new ship, and which I have since then. I did a lot more charting, and here I am. This is my new ship, the Advanced Beagle. I've gone and customized it a little bit, but I've been dying to use this ship. I had been using for a long time. Actually, I was just on the right panel. For a long time, I was using my sloot, or not my sloot, my schooner. And I've always loved the schooner, um, which I still think looks actually prettier than my uh, my beagle, but it just doesn't have all the same the same uh, abilities. This does have a ship acceleration, which is nice, but um, for really right now, this ship is the better ship. It's got much more. It's got 421 horizontal sail, 329 vertical sail. Whereas this ship, um, when fully equipped, I think has maybe more vertical sails, obviously. It's with 278 to 329. Let's look at the ship parts. How much vertical sail are we adding? 20, 42, 64. So once we add 64 to this, we're getting to, oh gosh, math, math, math over 350 so yeah definitely better here uh, on the sailor so I get more verticals but I definitely get more horizontal out of the other ship which makes it a little bit probably better for sailing long distances which is really I really wanted plus it's got way better hold like that's what I really was looking forward to um, I'm still gonna need somebody to help me uh, shift this ship uh, around um, I have to find a shipbuilder who can help me make this so that it's less cannons and more cargo hold for longer longer sails um, and see if I can reduce the cabin because I don't need that many sailors the only thing I really wish I did have as a backup ship is a uh, ship that I could use to fight in battles um, that's this ship at the moment has a little bit more cannons but it has way less durability than my current ship so that's something I'm going to be looking forward to improving at some point um, I don't think I can get it much higher than this, I don't believe, even if I use some of the um, Master Craftsman's tools to get it up, I think it only can go another 10 or so, so it's not going to be enough to really cover that um, that need of more durability, unless if somebody modifies my ship, I mean it's got more armor, uh, they'd have to really modify it to make it better. Uh, but I do love the ship. This ship still looks really nice. Uh, it's one of my favorite ships. It looks like a classic, like battle sh ship from, you know, movies and scenes you've seen. It looks kind of like the Black Pearl right now, which is what I love. And I still have this guy. This was my trading ship before the last schooner. Um, and then I use this guy right now for my um, my aid. And this is just mainly because it adds this much hold, and none of the other ships have that much hold. Um, so th that's really why I keep this guy as my main ship at the moment, and it really gets me places faster, um, but it needs some tweaking, and I'm just going to have to party up with somebody who has shipbuilding uh, high enough that I can make those kinds of modifications. But yeah, that that was the main goal of my last uh, my last time out um, to you guys was to show you how I was advent leveling my adventuring skills and such, and now I'm back here, uh, and I'm, I'm all good. Like, I'm ready to go. I have lots of... Uh, new experience. I finally got the ship I needed to finally do some of the uh, research that I've been working on for my thesis in my college or university. Uh, right now I'm currently working on a field of study in which that I have to do discoveries of level 3 or higher. So kind of just like on the, the hunt for level 3 or higher quests um, that have uh, 
geography as my main source right now. I don't have any quests. My main source of uh, research, because that's the kind of research I'm interested in. I'm not really interested in ecological or biological right now. I'll probably take them in time, maybe complete them separately as I get more skill slots. I've already filled up all my skill slots for now. Um, so really my main goal is to um, get back to getting that adventure skill uh, or not adventure skill, getting that um, research done so I can finish my thesis and I don't remember what the reward is but the reward I'm sure will be good enough uh, right now the the rewards that I have are under my skills every time you complete a skill you get a college uh, boost you get to choose up to two of them and right now I'm choosing obviously easier to raise the evaluation upon submitting a treatise at college which is good it's gonna boost my ability to submit these other ones and ship speed there's other ones like augmenting your socially skills augmenting your uh, ship repairs Increasing the number of trade goods acquired in the field specifically for, I don't know what this kind is, augments gunnery skills, land battle skills, and production rates, which is good for if you're trying to do um, your management skill later, which I've already done a little bit of, but when I do more of it, that's what I'll use. Reduced assaults, avoiding a certain percentage of enemy assaults while on land or at sea. Um, scholarly knowledge and gain proficiency for your discovery skill recognition. Oh, I need you to gain proficiency for your discovery skill. Hmm. Could have been using that all along too for this. Returns a portion of the cost for building or moving buildings at Company Colony, which I don't really do. Melee strength. Oh, this one says invalid when uh, allies are. Okay, so that's something. Trade goods, here you go. Discounts for different kinds of trade goods, one, two, or three. So there's a, there's all these sorts of bonuses, and I just choose these. Ship speed, just because, you know, it's always the the one that I would like. Um, and then scholarship right now while I finish. And as I go, I will level up more and get more space for more skills. But I believe this is the max right now. I don't know if there's extras. Yeah, I could swap them in and out, but there's no extras at the moment. So yeah, I'm pretty much right now just looking for quests that are going to give me those level 3 geography quests, or even if it's not geography, I just gotta find something that gives me a level 3 discovery. With the level 2 discovery, that would be level 5 art, but I don't have that. Oh, if only recognition's not even there. See, and this is what happens, and so then I, what I would use, I would use a quest mediation permit. I don't have any on me, but I have over 200, so I could come back here and I could re-roll them and just keep on getting more. So maybe we'll do that. Actually, no, I don't think we have the time for it, but that's something we'd do. And uh, I would get this research done soon. I mean, I think it's the last research I have to do for college, and then I don't know what the, re the reward for that is, but I'm sure it'll be... Uh, pretty good. Let's see. Do I? Is there a reward for challenge missions? Forty skills is one. Graduate from college. The is a modified full rig sale, which they don't tell you what it'll do. But modified full rig sale. I think I might even already have one of them on my ship. Modified top royal sale. Now full rig is probably like twenty plus twenty. So not bad. Oh, I didn't realize that one reduced the turn speed. Whatever. But you get the idea. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much at this stage of my game. I, I don't really need to, as I show you my character, I don't need to level up my trade anytime soon. I got a long way before it goes anywhere. My adventure is going up slowly as I'm doing this. I really want to get my battle level up over time. Uh, I might start focusing after I do finish college on just battle, maybe getting this above 30 just to catch up with the other ones. That way maybe I can get a new battleship of some kind. I see a lot of people selling battleships um, on some chats and some things. So I really want to make sure I get that up so I can actually get into some better ships and maybe get out of my Black Pearl looking ship. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, really, this is my main goal. Oh, let me do my daily here. I need to get my tow request permits. Do it every day, guys, if you're someone like me who's too lazy to sail anywhere. Um, I really use those pretty much every day, and I use more than 10 every day when I play. So if I'm only going to pop in for the day and I'm not going to really play the game, that's when I will grab one and use them for another date. But yeah, I really want to get some new ships. It's kind of like down the line for this character, but I'm probably going to be putting that on hold in time because I will be starting this Let's Play series with a brand new character so I can show everybody the real basics of the game and how to get them to the stage of when you're done with the little tutorials in the beginning because a tutorial essentially lasts a long time in this game 
and I just want to show people how to use it, how to do it. That way they're not just kind of completely out of the loop, not knowing what to do. There's a lot of videos out there on this on uh, this game. Actually, let me take the back. There isn't really that many, and a lot of them are not showing you what to do. Like they just there's some out there that show you what to do, but there's like nobody talking. There's a guy who uses a robot to talk because he doesn't talk. Uh, there's people from foreign countries that you may not understand. No offense to those people. I'm sure they're great in their countries or for who they attract, but I have a hard time following some guy who has a difficult accent. And for you know me. Uh, Obviously, typing in this game and speaking in the world chat has helped me out a lot because everyone speaks English there. But being able to listen to somebody and give me directions on how to do something in a video would help out greatly. Um, and very rarely did I find stuff. Now, there are websites that show you what to do, but sometimes physically seeing somebody do it is a lot easier than following directions on some sort of walkthrough on a website. So it's not one of those things that I think uh, this community has much of and that's why I want to offer it in my Let's Play series because right now this character is kinda just my my main I play him a lot but he's not the one in which that I think um, really would do a very good job of doing explanations for people I think that's something that'll come from a brand new character that I could show you how I get through the stages and how I get to the levels that he's at um, and I'll try not to like cheat my way through levels just to get to things unless otherwise it serves a purpose purpose but unless if it's something that is like really easy to do um, you know that'll really be helpful to people if I show them those little tidbits on how to circumvent like getting to level 20 is like one of the first things you're gonna want to do because as soon as you do you can get an aid and you want to have an aid as soon as possible so you can start using them as a skill boost a skill set a skill set so you can forget some of your languages and then have them give them a ship so they can get some more score, uh, storage for you so that you can get more goods while you travel so there's a real good reason to do it as soon as possible so that those sorts of workarounds might be really helpful um, so I'm going to show all of that in the, the Let's Play series. Obviously this game right now that I'm currently playing isn't going to be that, but I might refer to this channel a few times in the Let's Play series, or this channel, this player in, in the Let's Play series, just to really give you the full understanding of um, what your potential outcomes are, and to refer to him so that I can maybe even log into the game twice with two different characters maybe, um, and that way you know, you can see how having somebody in your fleet might help if I don't have somebody around so there'll be references back to this character but nothing like um, nothing at all like the uh, I don't know where I was going with this but you get the idea so hopefully next time around when I come with a new video in a week's time there will be uh, there'll be a let's play and you guys can follow and it'll be a fun time and hopefully we'll teach somebody some things about the game as we play all right, everybody. It was great to uh, check, checking in with all of you and see you in my next video. Take care.